Please remain standing if you're able for the reading of the Holy Gospel. The Gospel this morning was taken from John chapter 10, verses 22 through 30. At Hanukkah, the religious authorities questioned Jesus about being the Christ. It was the feast of the dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. And Jesus answered them, I tell you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in the name of God, my Father and Mother, they bear witness to me. But you do not believe, because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. And no one shall snatch them out of my hand. God who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of God's hand. I and God, the mother and father, are one. May God add understanding to the reading of the gospel. Join me in singing number 812 of Gloria. The words are in the book. Give me your message this day for your people. Amen. We are one. When Jesus made the final statement from the gospel this morning, I and God, the mother and father, are one. He was not moving or speaking in the world of philosophy or metaphysics or abstractions. He was moving in the world of personal relationships. No one can really understand what a phrase like a unity of essence means, but everyone can understand what a unity of heart means. Jesus' unity with God came from the twin facts of perfect love and perfect obedience. Jesus was one with God because he loved and obeyed God perfectly. And Jesus came to this world to make us what Jesus is. 
one with God. I think this is perfect, a perfect way for us to think about our relationships with our mothers or our mother figures in our lives on this Mother's Day. Yes, Jesus did have a very unique and oneness of relationship with God. So as do we with our relationships with our mothers. The love that a mother feels for her child is stronger than anything we will ever experience. That woman will protect, guide, and strengthen their child to the ends of the world. Perhaps there are some women on this earth who have not always been the most perfect example or shown the greatest love in the most beautiful of perfect ways, but they all have a level of love for their child that can never be matched. We as offspring of these great women, women of great love, these warrior women, willing to face difficulties on our behalf, may not be the perfect and obedient child that we should be or that we should have been. Young people, that doesn't mean you stop trying. Obedience is good. <laughs> the mothers can pay me later for that. <laughs> we may feel that we have no connection with our mother at many points in our lives. We will think of that one moment, though, of shared joy or shared warmth, those moments that perhaps can get us through another day. For me, it was sitting down at my house with my mother. When I had a bad day or a lot to complain about, my mother would simply look at me and say, have a glass of tea, it'll be better tomorrow. That gets me through a lot. Jesus knew that his connection with God, his mother and father, was so strong that he never claimed anything he ever did as of his own accord, but that of God. Jesus never claimed that the people who followed him followed only Jesus. Jesus was on a mission to bring all those followers into a relationship with God. Jesus knew that the love of God was greater than the love of Jesus alone. And that's the same way it should be for us. We should know without a doubt that as we share the same DNA of the person that gave, us, gave life itself to us, we also share in a bond of love and mutual respect for that gift of life. What we do, just as what Jesus did, should be to show the glory and honor of God to all that we do. We must give to God all the glory and honor for all that we are, will be, or will have. For all of these things, are a blessing from our God. It really is the same type of love, honor, and respect we should have for, for our mothers on this day when we remember and honor our earthly mothers. Even for children that are estranged from their mothers, that same love and bond is still there we still owe them the honor and respect for giving us the gift of life. There are times that we may feel estranged from our God or from Jesus, yet God is ever faithful to be there, waiting for us to stop and realize that we are the ones who have walked away. God will never walk away or abandon you. I also feel strongly that if a woman was able to carry a child in her womb for however long she may have carried that child, she has that same commitment and love. Never underestimate the power of love 
that women have for all people. I think the greatest gift we could give our mothers on this day is to treat all women, all nurturing people, with great respect, honor, and love. It should be our challenge to see all, all women as a sacred vessel capable of giving the greatest gift of all, the gift of life. I don't know if any of you saw last week when Meghan Merkel finally gave birth to her baby son and her husband, the prince, came out and told the cameras, it's the greatest blessing. I don't know how a woman does it. I can't comprehend it. God knows how you do it, beloved women, because God gives you the strength to do it. When that snot nosed little kid wants to get into a fight with you, or constantly wants to say, Why? 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 I know there's a deep desire just to smack them. Pick them up and give thanks to God that they can annoy you one more day. For you never know. Love one another. God and Jesus were one. You and the people who gave birth to you are one. And those who choose to share your life with you, whether they gave birth to you or not, it's a wonderful, unique gift. Because they not only looked at the person that they were in love with, but they looked at you and said, I also want to be part of your life. That's impressive. That says I care. And if some woman can care for you that much, you can go out into this world and you can kick butt, and you can love, love, and love. Happy Mother's Day to each and every one.